Yo, hello everyone, and welcome back to a brand new video. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a custom template in ClickUp to streamline your workflow and decrease productivity. We will walk you through the step-by-step -step instructions on how to create a template and task, assign members, and customize the settings to suit your needs. So, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. The first thing that I will need you guys to do is simply head up to your browser and then go to the URL section and search for click up. Now after you did that click on the first link which is clickup.com. So let's do that and as you can see it has been opened. Now all you have to do to start working with them is click in here and it is free forever. No credit card is required. So let's click on get started and here put your work email. So let's put my email for now. Here we go. Get click up. Now let me just make sure that my email it is the one that I've put it. Yep, correct. And then here I just put the name Loli Lob and here uh, a password of minimum of eight characters. Now Please at least one capital letter. Okay, let's add here capital letter and play with click up. Now just wait a couple seconds and they will send you a code in your inbox. So go to your Gmail account, go to click up team, copy this, and then verify it. Welcome, Lolly Lob. Our mission is to make you more productive, and this will only take a minute. So let's do it. Lame your workspace. Keep it like that. Customize your workspace avatar. You can upload the image if you'd like. So let me just try to track an image. For example, this one. Um, okay, I'm happy so far. Choose your favorite color theme, blue. And can we choose other colors? No, only blue. All right, I'm happy so far. How many people will you be working with? Just me for the moment. How do you want to start using ClickUp? I will start using ClickUp for sales and CRM, finance and accounting, IT, personal use, marketing, this bunch of things. I will try and choose personal use. Click on next then. Here, how did you hear about us? You can choose podcast radio or something like that, but for you guys, you have to choose YouTube since you heard it from me. Do you use any of these tools project management? To do is I do have it. I do, do use this one as well. And I did use Trello back then with that being said click when i'm done and now that's it now go and change the word and forget to have don't forget to have fun so let's play with click up and our dashboard will be created in a couple seconds you can watch the video if you'd like to see like a basic uh, tutorial about the platform i will just click here to get started so Basically guys, this is the dashboard that will open for you once you create your account. Now, right after that, go to here to the left section and you will find, as you can see, this menu. Here you will find the search, where you can search for things, home, notifications, and click here to see your goals. Here you can close it if you don't have any goals at the moment. Here you will find all your favorite stuff that you have uh, painted as a favorite. Here are the spaces, so the space work that you have created. So this is team space. I have three projects here, as you can see, projects one, project two, and project three. Here, if I close it, you will find the dashboard, my private dashboard. You can click here to create another dashboard. So this is how the dashboard is going to look like if you clicked on it. Here are the docs that you have assigned to you, shared, private, and everything. So everything will be here assigned that has been assigned to you. Now, how can we create custom templates? It is pretty simple. Go to spaces, create a new space, and here you'll find space name and templates. So basically what you can do is simply choose one of these templates that they already created for you. Here you have all these kind of templates from project management, here marketing, here other and yeah there is a bunch of options that you can go for as you can see the images through here you can choose the one that 
kind of looks better for you, attractive and organized. And the things that you feel like you will understand the most. So, and for you to create a template, you can create your first template by clicking here on learn more. And to create a template, you can just follow this guide. So basically, this video is actually going to explain everything for you. So uh, everything is very easy to use. All you have to do is simply click on Lolly's workspace. And then, as you can see, our workspace templates you've added to your workspace will be here. So it is very easy to use. And to create a template here in much details, you'll find it over here. Open the workspace item, click the ellipsis to open the settings menu. So all you have to do is go to ellipsis to open the actual uh, menu. So how can we find the ellipsis? It is pretty easy, guys. So all you have to do is click on one of your workspace. Click, for example, on project one. And let's say that this project is the template that we are going to save. So you can, for example, go here to templates and save this one as a template. So now we have created our project and we made a template in here. So how you can create a template in here? Simply you can just drag items and start creating items, uh, adding subtasks, uh, making columns, etc. If you'd like to add columns, and this is called a template. So that's how you can actually create a template for your own self. Here you can choose if you'd like it to be a board, calendar, and much more. So it is completely up to you. But let's keep it for example as board. Here just click on project, click on template, then click on save as a template. Here give this template a name. So now we have created the template, we have to save it. So we're gonna give it a name. Let's name it template number one. And here share with, I'm going to share it only with me. And then here public sharing, I'm going to close it. Import everything, customize including item if you'd like. So here we go, and then click on save. We are creating your template and we'll need to file when it's ready. This may take up to a couple minutes. Now all you have to do is simply wait a couple minutes until the template will be finally created. Now your folder has been created. So if I want here to create a new space, very quick, and I want to template, here it is the templates that are in here. But for us to actually find our template, we should finally find, find it by here. So it is created by me. So if I click here, template number one, and I use this template, here's select location for the folder. I'm going to choose it here, folder three, project two, for example, import everything, and etc. etc. Do you want to include archive tag? Yes. Um, and just like so, let's name it like something like a uh, template test. And now we should give this something like that. Let's edit everything here if you'd like to edit anything. And now, once you're done with that, all you have to do is click on save. But now, please select a place to use this template on. So I have chosen it, so I'm going to choose this one. And then use template. And here we go. So the template has been created, template test. And here it is. This are the list, this is the board and the calendar and everything has been saved and created successfully as you can see here. So yeah guys, that was completely it. It was pretty easy process on how to create a template on ClickUp. I hope you liked this video guys and see you guys in the